Hey there, I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things, welcome. It's time to start looking at some of the stuff I picked up at VCF Midwest. And what I'm going to look at is this. This is the Easy Flash 3 cartridge. Now there's a number of different ways to get images flashed onto this cartridge. The one that I'm going to look at today is using the USB connector on the side and hooking it up to your modern day computer and flashing an image off of there directly onto the cartridge. Not only am I going to show you how to do that, but I'm also going to take a look at how to create a multi-cart with a number of different cartridge images on it. So I say let's get started. Here we are looking at the Easy Flash cartridge plugged into the back of my Commodore 64. So the first thing we have to do is, of course, take a USB connector, plug it into the side. The other side is connected into my computer right back here. Uh, it is recommended the best thing here is to not run it through a USB hub, but connected directly to the computer. On the back of the cartridge there are three buttons. The first one is a reset. The second one is a special button. If uh, nothing else is programmed to that, like for instance the Super Snapshot cartridge, it just takes you into basic. And the third button takes you back to the Easy Flash menu. You'll notice on the Easy Flash menu screen it is broken down into three areas. The black areas are where something is accessible. The gray areas are where something can be added. So currently it has four kernels on it in that first area and I can add up to four more such as things like Jiffy DOS. The area just below that is for different programs like the Super Snapshot program, the Action Replay program, and it comes with the Easy program, which is how you actually take files from something like a disk drive or a disk drive emulator and put it on to the Easy Flash cartridge. Now there is the space for more options and that is just for a uh, showing you version, uh, you can actually turn the cartridge off and go back to basic. And then there's a space there for a C128 mode. So if you look, there's the version right there. But <clears throat> what we are more interested is the menu area beside that, which has seven open slots. And that is where you put cartridge files. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do from your computer right now. This is the website that I am using as a guide to do the things that I am doing today. So I will, of course, put a um, link down in the description to this website because there are also some stuff you'll have to download off of here. And other websites that I use today will also be down in the description. So, once your cartridge is plugged into your C64 and hooked up to your computer with a USB cable, you have to see if you have the right drivers installed. So, to do that, you look under your device managers. If your Easy Flash 3 is showing up under other devices, you don't have the right USB driver. So, uh, you can go to this Zadig and install the drivers. Once you do that, your Easy Flash cartridge should show up under Universal Serial Bus Devices. The next thing you have to do is download the Easy Transfer 1.2.0 file, which is right under here under Resources, Software Downloads. You'll find everything you need to download for this and other projects that you want to do. 
Once you have the Easy Transfer 1.2.0 downloaded, you are ready to start transferring some files over to your Commodore 64. But from here, you can only transfer one cartridge image at a time per slot. So let's take a look at another program that will allow us to take a bunch of cartridge images and turn them into one big multi-cart image. The program we're going to need to make a multi-cart can be found over here on the C64 scene database and it is called NDEF Pack 1.0.1. That is this program right here. To make a multi-game cartridge all you have to do is open up hit the plus sign here to add something and then what you want to do is find where you have your cartridge images and then simply Start adding them to the cartridge. Once you have all the cartridges on your image that you want to have on there, you can start uh, doing the final touches to it. As you can see at the bottom here, there is a little graph. All the little green spots are the and the dark blue and the pink are the spots that are taken up on this file. So there's still a lot of usable area, but this is all I'm going to put on here for now. The next thing to do is make sure that all of the names are as you want them to appear. For instance, Jumpman here is actually Jumpman Jr. So hit the REN button and it allows you to make changes to the names. And once you have all the names as you want them to appear, you can then actually name your file or your cartridge that you're creating here by highlighting the top line here, which is the, um, I guess the title line of the columns and hit the REN and then you can name your cartridge. Multi cart one. Now the next thing to do is to save your file. So if it's in the file that you fo folder that you want it to be in, just name it. I'm going to name this multi one. Now make sure to make it a dot CRT file and hit OK. Now, if we look in the cartridges, there we go. Multi one dot CRT. So that will be the file we are going to download onto the Easy Flash 3 cartridge. Now we are ready to write the cartridge file that we just created over to the Easy Flash 3 cartridge. You do that by opening up your Easy Transfer 1.2.0 window, go to the Write CRT um, tab, hit Browse to find your cartridge image. Select the image you want, open it up, and hit go. And then you'll see over on the Commodore 64, it'll bring up some menus. Now, here you are choosing the slot that you're going to be putting the cartridge into. Very important here do not write anything to the system area. Only choose slots 1 through 7. 
So I will put this into slot one. Warns me that I'm going to erase anything that's in there, which was just the test image that I put in there earlier. And now it's writing to the cartridge. And there we go, we are done. Now it is asking for the cartridge name. I've already named it as Multicart1 uh, when I made the cartridge, so we will keep that. And it's done. And now to uh, use Multicart1, it's just simply you can hit A or highlight it and hit return. And it brings up all of the games that we put in there. So, what shall we try? How about Gateway to Apshai? If you've been watching my Twitch channel lately, you'll know that I've recently become obsessed with this game again on all forms of it. So, that's as easy it is it as it is to load up a game on uh, yeah your so transfer it from your computer to your um, Easy Flash 3 cartridge then load it up on your C64 and get playing so if you've watched this video and you're thinking to yourself hey where can I get one of those nifty little cartridges well this is actually an open source project but I purchased this particular one from Retro Innovations so I will put a little link down in the description to the Retro Innovations online store where you can pick up the Easy Flash 3 cartridge along with this nice nifty little case that it comes in. And he's, his uh, that he sells does have the uh, USB connector. So that's a must if you're going to be downloading uh, stuff off your computer. Now I did mention that there are different ways to be able to... Uh, flash things onto this uh, cartridge and they include being able to do it directly from a disc or a disc emulator and I'm currently working on getting myself a disc emulator for my uh, Commodore 64 so as soon as that happens I'll be able to show you how to put things from a disc emulator onto this cartridge. All right well I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget that a like a subscribe and a comment are all things that are greatly appreciated and help the channel out a lot. So I've got nothing else to say. I guess I will see you next time.